Okay. It's a great show. All right. We're back. Forget about going to Napa to enjoy a little vino. There's a spot that offers a great selection, and they've just expanded. Sabrina Silva is live from Elk Grove, checking it all out. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning. Yeah, I'm walking into this barn, and next thing you know, it's filled with wine. What a perfect place to be at on a Sunday morning. And this is actually a new winery that opened its doors here in Elk Grove, and it's called Christopher Cellars for a reason, and that's because Christopher over here is uh, one of the owners, but his wife Candace, ooh, Watch out. <laughs> is also a big helper. And that's the thing over there that I was talking to you about <laughs> earlier. Um, and we're gonna talk about that process because uh, not everybody likes to get their feet dirty yeah. and in the grapes. So there are things to make that a lot easier. So Christopher, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Can you tell us the process of your winery, you know, making your wine? Because you grow it here as well, yeah. um, some of the grapes. But why did you decide to start all of this? So uh, we, you know, my background's from Lodi, and we we moved to, to Elk Grove about five years ago, mm -hmm. and we wanted to start our family, and we just love the Elk Grove community. And then we tried to find a way to bring our passion of wine and food to Elk Grove, and we met the Bartholomew family, and we kind of did this joint venture to create this winery, and it's just fabulous. I do all the uh, managing the vineyards, we make the wine, so the fruit comes in in these bins. Around we start picking at three to four in the morning. They arrive around 8 o'clock, you know, from the vineyard, bring it in, and we start crushing. So we're shoveling with, uh, you know, shovels inside the crusher here. So it destems and crushes all at the same time. Um, and then the grapes go back into the bins. And we ferment for 12 to 20 days, and that's where this guy comes in to play. <laughs> so this is a punch-down tool, and so we're pushing the skins back into solution, extracting more color, more tannins. Once the wine's dry, we then press it off, and then, Candace, you can kind of talk yeah, about that. Yeah, this little antique piece right here. So this is our basket press. So then you shovel all of the grapes into this guy. You've got a bladder right down in the middle that fills up with water. And so then that water just, or the bladder expands, presses all the grapes through the basket, and then all the juice runs out through here, and then right into that bin. And it also goes into that barrel over there, and we're actually gonna try it out, but I love the bottling. This is probably one of my favorite parts about this. And they got a local company to do that, which is so cool. This is why, you know, it's so important to have local businesses, because you give back to other local businesses. So ladies, we're gonna do a little tasting from a barrel over here. We'll toss it back to you. All right, tough assignment there you have. Tough assignment, Sabrina. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs>